Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today we're going to test the RTX 4070 Ti Super in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. So without further ado, let's check out GPU-Z. As you can see, we have the 4070 Ti Super installed. We have resurfaceable bar on. We have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. And over here we have uh, the Core i7-13700KF CPU running at stock speeds. And we have 64 gigabytes of DDR5 CL36 6000 megahertz speed and as you can see 4070 Ti Super this is the Zotac variant of the card the amp hollow finally we have uh, MSI afterburner here and we have no overclock supplied as you can see fan and everything is set to auto and we are on the latest Nvidia drivers as well 551.23 as of time I'm recording this video so without further ado let's get into Fortnite chapter 5 and check out the frame rates so here we are guys inside the menu so first up at 1080p resolution and we are going to try this on maxed epic settings without nanite virtualized geometry off first and no lumen and all that stuff no ray tracing normal epic settings preset with taa anti-aliasing at 1080p let's go ahead so as you can see guys while we are dropping and at 1080p epic settings no ray tracing no nanite we're getting around 280 280 fps which is really good. We are already being CPU bound at this resolution. As you can see, GPU usage is not so maxed out yet. Yeah, there is a guy right here next to me. I hope he doesn't get gunned before me. What is this dude? Oh my goodness. There is somebody else also I feel like. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yep, I was pretty sure there was somebody else also. Over there, go to settings. I'm not gonna try medium because it's pretty useless at 1080p medium I'm gonna straight go to low preset at TIA everything set to low and apply 1080p lowest oh sh I forgot something else that is the uh, <laughs> 3d resolution yeah 3d resolution set to 100% manually and everything else set to low and we are getting at the lowest settings at 1080p 400 FPS, nice. Amazing, guys. You can dominate with this FPS. And there's 330, 360. Saw somebody there. Where he went, though? He just fired a bullet. Where are you hiding? Come out. Wonder if he's even here still. I don't know. Whatever. This is gonna continue benchmarking as you can see 450 FPS. Wow. Amazing and GPU usage at 65 66% Obviously, we are pretty much CPU bound 1080p right now Look at those pop-ins Oh, there's someone fighting there All right, we're not gonna go there. I'm just here to benchmark So let's go back in to the settings This time I'm gonna be Doing 1080p competitive settings, that is texture set to high and view distance at far. Everything else pretty much on the lowest preset. And 100% 3D resolution, guys. So this is 1080p competitive settings. And this is going to drop some FPS, but not much. As you can see, still closing at 400 FPS. I mean... I mean, if you have a 4070 Ti Super, if you did buy this GPU, obviously don't play at 1080p, at least 
play on 1440p. That's how you should be playing this game. Any game, so to speak. Let's go down. So averaging around 374. Amazing, guys. Even the lows are really, really good. Oh, let's let's fight these guys quickly. If I don't die, even though I don't care if I die. Wait, there's some of this. I could hear this guy. Why didn't he fire at me at first though? What is going on here? What is this chaos? He's down. Oh, double kill! They they couldn't kill each other, and I just came and finished them off. So easy. Was is there anybody else? Is there a third a guy or what? Here we are, guys, back at 1080p again, and this time with epic quality preset, TAA and Sing with Nanite turned on and Lumen epic global illumination and reflection and ray tracing off for this one. We'll do ray tracing right after this. So, so here we are, guys, and right off the bat, I noticed that. The GPU usage is not 100%, even at, even with ray tracing and all that stuff. I mean, not ray tracing, nanite being turned on. And I have to kill this guy immediately. Yes, we got the gun first, which is amazing. Where, where is he? Where is he? Come on, come on. Where are you running? Stop running. All right, so as I was saying, as you can see, the GPU utilization is 97, sometimes 95, 96. I mean, uh, yeah, we are at 1080p, obviously. So that's probably the, obviously the reason we are having that uh, GPU, I mean, CPU bound issue. But I at least expected 99% GPU utilization with uh, nanite being turned on but weird enough that's not the case ouch there's some guy here too easy this time we're gonna turn on ray tracing okay nanite on epic ray tracing we don't we are not going to use dlss at 1080p for this gpu there's no point in doing that so there is that so let's see now and as you can see with ray tracing turned on we are close to 100 fps and there is some stuttering as well and even still the gpu usage is not maxed out i mean it does stay at 98 percent most of the time but it's it is dropping to 97 and 6 at times. Yeah, I see this guy. He's gonna get in. The vehicle. I'm up here. Oh my god, I don't have ammo. I did not see that. My first weapon didn't have ammo. Ran out of ammo, actually. Oh man, so much structure here. So many places to take cover and hide. But it really looks good, the game. If we're getting 100 FPS with RT turned on, 1080p, I think at 1440p we can get around 70. All right, guys, we are at 1440p right now. Epic preset at TAA, anti-aliasing, and nanite being off. So right now, while dropping, we are getting 160 FPS, 168, 50. We're going to drop in this town. But the thing is, even at 1440p, the GPU usage is still not sticking at 98 all the time. It, it dropped to 90 there. Oh my goodness. I'm going to run because he got a gun. And I don't have one yet. Okay, I got a shotgun. But also a blue one. I'm gonna use this. Let's get some shields.
Jeez, so much noise this guy is making. I don't know where he is, but he's there somewhere. I'm so scared to stay up here. So we are averaging at 168. You know what? I just want to get out and get out of here. Oh, 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 we're getting shot at. He's coming around. Yeah, break it. Now I'm gonna sh come, come out and shoot you. Right, just like that. Let's get back into the settings, guys, and turn it to low preset. Now I'm gonna try medium and high. And 3D resolution 100%. Everything is on low preset, pretty much. Please look awful on low settings. Obviously, it's a low setting, so can't complain. So edgy they look. We are back in the town. Uh, look at that GP usage to drop to 80%, 88, 85. Because we are playing at low setting, so more stress is on the CPU and less on the GPU. 385 average, and we are hitting 400 over here. Um, Let's, oh my goodness me, he is a sniper. I am better than you. I'm gonna let it reload quickly. Told you, you can't kill me. Can I pick that gun up? Oh, it's a shotgun. Like that shields. Oh god, I'm getting shot at. Yeah, even he, he his aim is bad as well. Let's challenge this guy as well. Yep. Uh 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 I'm potatoing. We're gonna stand still and shoot each other <laughs> like that. Go to settings quickly and turn up the textures to high and view distance to far. So this is this is gonna be 1440p competitive settings, everything else set to low except view distance and textures. 338, 329, FPS is all over the place pretty much. Who is coming here with a vehicle? Let's see. Let's let's kill this guy. Or is he gonna run away? People are so scared of me. In the city, we are getting 320, 350. As you can see, FPS is all over the place. All right. So this is 1440p comedy competitive settings guys and we're using 17 gigabytes of system memory so you at least need like 16 gigabytes of ram is not sufficient so you will probably need 32 gigabytes to make it a much smoother experience i mean even with 16 gigabyte won't be a problem uh, because I have lots of items installed, softwares installed on my PC, so the, that system RAM is kind of high. But I think 16 GB should be enough for you. But if you switch to 4K, I think that uh, that RAM usage will be a lot higher, probably. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna close this match and switch and switch it to Nanite mode and. Turn on Lumen.
So here we are guys at 1440p with epic quality preset at TAA and we have Nanite turned on this time everything else to epic, lumen epic, lumen epic, ray tracing turned off for this one we'll do it at the next one. Oh my goodness there's somebody up there how did he already get up there landed there why is there no weapons where are the weapons my friends oh up there what is this gun where is this bastard I am much better than you, you freaking robot. <laughs> robot wearing skin. Okay. So how, what we are getting now, what FPS, 78, 73 average. Um, I expected a little more, over 80 average I expected at least. But nevertheless, what is that RPG? Let's go near the water. Okay, I see that guy diving in the pool or the lake. Wait, are those fishes? Um, mm, that's not a guy. That's a fish. Let's drink some shields. And 76 average FPS, not bad. I'm gonna switch the settings, guys. And we're gonna turn on ray tracing now and see what happens. We'll probably drop to 50, maybe. Not sure. Oh, sticking at 60. There's a huge stutter there. Hmm, not bad. 75, 76. Didn't drop to 50 as I was imagining. Imagining. So, yeah, quite good experience still. There are some stutters here and there though. And look at that VRAM usage. It's well over 8 gigs now. So, that's why 8 gigabytes GPUs are not enough these days to play on max graphics settings. Um, yeah, it looks quite good and beautiful at the same time. I'll try using DLSS with this as well while having ray tracing on to make it a little bit more smoother experience. I think we will easily achieve 100 FPS probably with DLSS quality with ray tracing on. Man, I have become so much better at Fortnite by doing these benchmarks. I really don't play Fortnite other than while I'm doing benchmarks. Uh, if you have seen my very old Fortnite benchmark videos, I was so bad at this game. But I have come a long way since then. And the water, man, it looks so good. It looks freaking amazing in this game. I love the water in this game. Uh, we're in this castle, whatever this structure is, and I see this guy right there. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to target him. And I'm going to hide in this bush. So I'm going to go back inside the settings quickly and uh, enable DLSS and put it on quality. With ray tracing turned on, Nanite and Lumen Epic. And we're getting 96, 99. There we go. So close to 100. And there it is. 100. It will drop below 100 easily on the... Uh, on... Uh, what should I say? Like during action and fight. It's going to easily drop. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, man. These music? Why is there copyright music everywhere in this game? I don't understand. Why is there even a streamer mode, guys, in this game? I don't even know. Oh, look at these beautiful yellow flowers, though. They look so good. This is maxed out settings, guys, with ray tracing only or not on native 1440, but using DLSS quality. We are averaging 99, not 100, 98. Looks really fantastic. Some fight is happening in this direction. Um, where are they? I don't see anybody. Maybe they are way far ahead, probably. Anyways, guys, let's now switch to 4K resolution and check it out. Here we are at 4K resolution, guys, and we have it on Epic Quality Preset, TAA. And Nanite and Ray Tracing is turned off, no DLSS. We're also going to try with DLSS. So while uh, dropping, we're getting around close to 80 FPS. There it goes, Got, goes down to 70s. And this is 4K epic, epic settings. And VRAM usage is still below 8 gigabytes though which is good. I mean, it's gonna increase probably sooner or later. Yep, it starts to increase. Where are the guns? It's above me, I guess. Yep. We got a pistol, boys. So in the interior, we're getting 90 FPS. Oh my goodness. Can't even get out of that window. Come on! God. Why can I not jump through the window? Off. Let's drink some juice quickly. All right. Averaging 88 FPS, close to 100. I mean 90, sorry, not 100. Let's get these shields up. And... For this one, I'm playing with uh, a squad. Where do you go? Oh my goodness, there's someone behind me as well. Stand down. Where's this other guy though? Yep. Nice one, guys. Nice one. Okay, and switch to DLSS quality mode. Everything else set to epic preset, no nanite. And we are well above 120 there, 130. And this is how I would probably play this game at with this GPU at 4K. Casually, obviously. If you are a casual player, this is how you should play it. If you have a 4K display or even a 2K display, you can just. Uh, change it to 4K with NVIDIA DSR from the control panel, if you did not know that. How many kills we have? Four kills. Uh, the VRAM usage is still well below 8 gigabytes, even sitting at 7 gigabytes right now. RAM usage is over 16. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, you guys are scaring me now. Why did Anita go there? Uh, no, 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 no. Oops. Don't want to die from fall damage now at the end. What is going on here? I don't understand. Who are these people? Bots? That's not a bot. Uh, is it a bot? Honestly, I don't know. All right, guys, once again, we are into a new match now. We died in the last one. We have 
uh, this time we have high quality preset and 3d resolution manually set to 100 TAA everything else set to high preset no nanite no lumen no DLSS it's native 4k and on high preset we are getting 100 FPS while dropping and <laughs> all right hopefully we stick to 100 so I don't need to use DLSS We will have to use though while uh, if we if we turn on uh, what do you call that ray tracing nanite and all that stuff. Oh my goodness! I'm in the wrong place. Give me a gun, not ammo. Oh my goodness! This guy. I'm in the wrong territory, my friends. I'm actually in the wrong place. Okay, they have bad aim, which is good. One shot, one kill to the head. Alright, alright, who's shooting? Oh, they're still shooting at us. And okay, now I can fight. Headshot this, this, this bastard lady. Alright guys, on to 4K medium preset, as you can see TAA, 3D resolution manually set to 100, everything else on medium preset, so let's dive in. So as you can see guys, we're getting 165 FPS and I'm recording this uh, the day after, all the clips from here on are recorded day after. I just noticed yesterday that... Uh, all the audio in this clip were missing, my audio and the game audio as well. And I also realized that in the 1440p clips, the game audio are missing. So I am really sorry about that. <laughs> I apologize. But I honestly don't have the time to go back and re-record them. It will take so long for me to do that. I'm really sorry about that. But regardless of the audio, the FPS shall not be affected, so you, that's what you are all here for. You can check out the FPS regardless. And in some of the uh, some of the clips, my audio is was probably missing in this 4K recording. That's why I'm redoing this all over again from medium. So I don't want my audio to be missing. I don't care if the game audio is missing. So anyway, we're getting 190 FPS, close to that, on medium settings. So here we go again, and I hopped into a new game, and this time on low preset, with 100% 3D resolution, everything else set to the lowest. Okay, okay, so we're getting above 200 FPS in this area, and I hope I really don't die right after landing. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me that gun. Where are all of these guys? 240 FPS, 250. There is that guy. What? How did he die from one bullet? <laughs> Regardless. Let's take some ammo quickly. Where are all the people? How much we are averaging 255 this is quite playable at 4k lowest preset competitively pretty much playable I can even enable DLSS quality and it should be above like 300 FPS without any loss in quality here we are guys the final round of settings is with epic quality preset TAA Nanite turned on, Lumen Epic, Lumen Epic for Reflections and GI and let's have a look. No DLSS for now, we will turn it on after this, we will have to use it, otherwise we won't get that 60 FPS as you can see. So while dropping in, we are getting the mid 40 FPS, I mean uh, that's not good, 
It's not gonna be a good experience like this. Oh my god, there's somebody right there. Oh, 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 oh no! I didn't want this, guys. I did not want this. Alright, seems like we are getting respawned. Thank you so much. Cloudy1738, shout out to you. So this is not a good playable experience, you know. Yeah, I can't let my team down. They they have actually helped me up. Oh, this is what I wanted. Now I'm gonna turn on a DLSS to quality, not performance, not balanced. Yes, quality and everything else to epic preset with nanite turned on. Are they having a fight? Yes. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hope I'm useful. There they are. Oh, just one guy with a shield. So now we are getting with the DLSS way above 60 FPS, quite close to 70, even 70 actually. 60s. It's gonna pretty much stick above, stay above 60 most of the time, I guess. So with DLSS quality turned on, we are averaging at 70 FPS, obviously. No problem. Okay, now we're gonna turn on ray tracing, okay? Ray tracing without any DLSS. And set this to 100%. This is gonna be a very bad experience. So ray tracing at TAA, epic preset. Let's get the gold. Like that. Oh, oh no. Didn't realize that the circles are closing in. We made it inside the circle. Now we're averaging at 37 FPS, guys, which is not that great. Obviously, we have RT turned on right now. Where is our fourth guy? He's so far away there. Don't drop me off, please. That's the last thing I want from them. Okay, this is uh, not really playable. So I'm gonna quickly hop into the menu or while I'm on this vehicle and turn on DLSS quality. Oh no, there's some fight going on. What just happened? I did fire some rounds at them, which is nice. I don't know what they are doing. Thank God they weren't so good. I probably would have died on that vehicle while changing settings. Yep. We are fine. We got good teammates. So with the DLSS quality settings, we are getting... Uh, much 67 fps average right now i just started though but this is gonna be it for this video guys and thank you so much for watching do leave a like and subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys on the next one until then take care bye bye